Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and today I am joined with Coda. <laughs> That's me. It sure is, buddy. <laughs> so We are doing the shit. Yes, it, it's been a while since I had you on here, I just realized. <laughs> it, it has been, yeah. like, maybe maybe a couple weeks, I don't know. Yeah, but um, we, we I, I was able to kidnap Coda for another session, so let's go, let's go. Help, help. <laughs> <laughs> so the wheel has, uh, has made us read this fucking joke of a fanfiction. Uh, a shadow ex-reader, and... Uh, Shadow being Shadow the Hedgehog from the Sonic series. Yeah. I don't know where to start with this. <laughs> I, it's it's going to be rough. We got to stop putting this, like, stop putting joke ships, like, jokes on our uh, wheel, because then we have right. to read them at some point. Yeah, like, it's all fun and games until the wheel actually lands on it. <laughs> Yeah. And then we have to do it. What was the other one that we put on as a joke? And then we ended up having to fucking read it. Probably Hitalia. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was Hitalia. <laughs> yeah, that was a rough one. Yeah. Alright, but we have Shadow X Reader. No, f like, creative title. It's just called Shadow X Reader. It's just Shadow X Reader. Yep. Alright, description reads. You are just going about your day and just about to head home until a pair of red eyes glowing uh, stares at you from the darkness of an alley in front of you. Next thing you know, there's a gun being pointed at your head. What's going to happen? <laughs> Boy, I sure wonder. Yeah. Alright, so I believe the first two are basically author's notes, so we're going right to Shadow and Rouge. Hell yeah. I'm surprised this has 100k uh, reads overall. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, wh why? Was this the first one ever? Like, what's going on? <laughs> was this the first thing that ever graced this, uh, this shit platform? <laughs> Maybe. Alright, uh, would you like to, uh, well, let me find my remote. I know I had it here, so there it is. Uh, oh, the flipping remote. Oh, yeah, we have to name our character. Oh, shit. What, what? And there's a last name, too. Oh, there's a last name? Was it, like, yeah. FN, uh... It's, like, first name, last name, so okay. we have to come up with both. Alright, hold on. <laughs> I would say we could use shotgun, but we can't. <laughs> we can't. That's it would have just... been really fitting, but yeah. it also would have been confusing, because he actually has a gun. <laughs> shotgun pulled out her shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What, what what uh what name would a person that's into Shadow of the Hedgehog uh be? Um. Oh, the name of someone who's into Shadow the Hedgehog. That's a toughie. <laughs> First thing I thought it was Sony. Like the fucking <laughs> <laughs> just fucking call them Sony. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I like that. S O N Y. All right, last name Sony. Last name. The Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are there like different animals in in Shadow the Hedgehog? There are, there's a lot of different animals. Should, so we can should we make be an a animal. Should we be a hedgehog or should we like like a bird? Or we like can a bunny? we can branch out because there are a lot of different options. We can be an echidna. We can be an echidna because I think Knuckles is the only one. I don't fact check me on that. I'm not actually a I... Sonic fan. <laughs> How dare you not be a Sonic fan? I know. I should. I deserve the death penalty for that. I think he's the only living echidna because there was a like a whole tribe, and I think they yeah. got wiped out. And... Yeah, I think that is what happened. <laughs> So, for lore reasons, maybe not an echidna. Alright, we'll, we'll just stick with the hedgehog. <laughs> Alright, yeah, the hedgehog is good. Alright, uh, should we add the, uh, the, like, eye color or, like, favorite color or any stupid shit like um, that? <laughs> we gotta make our Sonic OC! <laughs> we do have to make our Sonic OC. Um, I don't know if it'll, like, have those. Okay, alright, then we'll, we'll, we'll not then. Okay. We'll if, if it comes up, we'll decide. Alright. 
All right, we shall do the ceremony of flipping the remote to see who goes first. Oh, boy. All right, I, I missed this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, would you like Classic. to be the buttons or the backside? I'll be the backside. All right. It's buttons. All right. All right, let's see. Chapter one, Shadow and Rouge. I don't know why it was a question mark, though. Shadow and Rouge? <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you were just coming out of the mall and it was 9.13 p.m. You couldn't believe you stay at the mall since 6, wasting your money on useless stuff. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to believe what cheap prices and discounts can do to people. As you walked to your car, which was parked next to a creepy alley, of course, because there was no other spots at the moment, you looked through your purse for your keys, and as you were looking, you noticed red eyes glowing in the dark of the shadow the shadowy alley. You paused and squinted, looking at the figure in confusion. Things moved. The thing moved a few steps towards the street light, and you saw him. A black and red hedgehog, which, with a look of <laughs> no emotion, staring at you like you owe him something. Then he pulled out a Beecher <laughs> PX4 Storm and pointed at you. Damn, dude. I was like, what the fuck's a Beerta? I kind of want to look up what the gun looks like. Just out of curiosity, because I was just, I was just thinking yeah. it was just gonna say gun or just shotgun. But uh, yeah, that's really specific and is probably the PX name of like a model store. in the game. So I'm gonna look that I'm up. I'm gonna look up images. Oh, it's just a pistol. <laughs> this shit looks oh. like a handgun. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what he has in the game. Uh, yeah, just a handgun. I thought this was gonna be like a like I, I thought I was gonna look this up and I thought it was gonna be like one of those machine guns. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish that, like, they had used, like, I don't know, a gun from the- This is like a real gun. Oh. Like, you, you can it. buy a Beretta PX4 Storm. Like, that's a thing. Oh, we also do? I never played a fucking Shadow- Like, a Sonic the Hedgehog game in my life. So, funny, funny story. <laughs> I really liked the Sonic movie, and my parents knew that I really liked the Sonic movie, so they got me a Sonic game- even though I've never expressed interest <laughs> in a Sonic game ever, and it's really bad. Like, Sonic uh, games, like, mechanically are bad. They're which, annoying to play. Which game was it? I gotta know. Uh, oh, what is it called? Sonic Forces. I oh, think god. <laughs> yeah, where you make your own little character. Okay. Dude, you made um, your own OC of Sonic! I did. But I didn't put a lot of thought into it. I do actually have a Sonic OC though. Hell yeah. Yeah. All right, let's let's finish up this paragraph. Right, let's be yeah. fucking robbed. <laughs> God, boy. Pointed at you and walked to you slowly. You were scared. You didn't know what he was trying to, if he was trying to rob you, kidnap you, kill you, or whatever. All you knew is that you were scared for your life and put your hands up as a sign of resign. I, n I know what you do, and you don't. You won't fool me. He growled and pointed the gun at my head, about three inches away from my hair. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what you're. You were cut off by him shoving the the, the point of the gun at your scalp. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Don't hand me that bullshit! He yelled in, my, in your ear, making you yelp in fear. We're gonna That's get shot. A lot. <laughs> Yeah, um... This reminds me of my interaction with Kid on the fucking character AI. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think I sent it to you, but I, like... I he think so. Yeah, but he was like, I'm, the, I'm a feared pirate, and I just texted back, and I was like, mm -hmm. ooh, a ginger and anger issues, my, just my kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I won't hesitate to end you right now, and I'm like, ooh, kinky. <laughs> and then he pulled a gun <laughs> on me. <laughs> I remember that, yeah. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> oh. Alright. Suddenly a female voice butted in on the conversation of you two. Calm down, Shadow, it's not her. Put the gun down and apologize. A white bat with an all-black suit emerged from the shadows of the alley. Shadow? The hedgehog then noticed the fear in your eyes, and you realized and realized you weren't the one he was looking for. He groaned and pulled the Beretta back from the back of your head and back into his suit pocket. Suit pocket? <laughs> he doesn't wear a suit. 
He's. <laughs> I guess. Doesn't he like, just wear rings on his wrist and that's it? <laughs> yes. He's in like a friggin' spy outfit or something, I guess. He's in like friggin' tactical gear. Yeah. Ugh. He then walked past the bat and into the shadows with anger. Well, apologize to this girl, uh, she yelled behind her. It took a, mi a minute to finally gather his remorse. Ugh, sorry, Shadow sighed. You were still shook from what just happened and just stared at the two. We are very sorry, miss. We thought you were someone else. Please don't tell anyone about us, okay? The bat walked over to you and put a hand on your shoulder. W why would I trust you? You shakily pulled away quickly. You don't need to trust us. If you tell anyone about us, we will find you and kill you. Understand? Shadow walked back out from- Oh. That was Shadow talking. I used my Rouge voice. <laughs> <coughs> you don't need to trust us. You tell anyone about us, we will find you and kill you. Understand? Shadow walked back out from the shadows and got in your face, showing he wasn't messing around. You gulp? You gulps? What? Okay. <laughs> You gulps? <laughs> yeah, multiple gulps. <laughs> yes. And had your back against the car while the hedgehog was still staring at at you in, in your face, waiting for an answer. Shadow, stop it. We're going to do this nicely. Whether you like it or not. The bat grabbed his shoulder and pulled him away from you, making you sigh in relief that someone was more reasonable. What he meant to say was, if you don't tell anyone about us, we can grant you military protection. Fuck yeah, military protection! <laughs> Let's go. She smiled at you nervously. What do you mean, military protection? I looked at her curiously. We work for GUN, is a top secret agency, the bat explained. So, is that why you guys were trying to kill me? You asked nervously. We've seen enough, Rouge. Let's go, Shadow said, walking to the dark alley. Wow. Edgy. Edgy. Edge boy. <laughs> edge boy. So Rouge is her name? Uh, Rouge sighed and walked to Shadow. Sh Shadow! Rouge! You haven't answered my question. You yelled at them as they walked back into the dark and disappeared. Hey! You ran into the alley looking for them, but they were already gone. The next day, Friday, July 5th. We've got dates on this. Holy shit! Damn. There's our structure! <laughs> yeah. We should have scheduled this one, apparently. <laughs> the next day, you just stayed home because you were worried that those two people from last night might see you again. But you felt the weird urge to tell someone about last night, but remember the hedgehog's warning. Uh, knock, knock. Suddenly, two loud knocks were at your door. You got up and opened it to see two tall men in black suits and with sunglasses. You're confused and could only know that it could mean bad news. Hello? Can I help you? You said nervously, looking at the men standing at your door. Miss Sony, you will be coming with us for conference. If you do not proceed with us, out the door, you will face serious consequences, including possible death. Oh, One of the men pulled out a badge with the logo G-U-N on it. I thought... I, I only saw, like... I didn't see the period, so I thought he just pulled out a gun. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that at first, too. I was like, that's really, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get my address, dog? <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, a lot. G-U-N? Haven't I heard that before? You thought. What kind of conference? You asked, worried. We'll explain everything when we get there. Please come with us, or there will be problems. The man put away his badge. Okay, can I get ready first? You said, nervously, hoping that nothing bad was going to happen. Hurry. We don't have much time, Miss Sony. One of the men gestured you to hurry. Damn, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. What if I was in my pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> you went to your room and put on your uh, favorite color. I feel like Sony would like blue. Probably. Yeah. Alright, so blue, <laughs> blue jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You put on your blue jacket, your boots, and grabbed your purse. Then you walked to the door to see the men waiting for you. They took you to out of the apartment building with, into their black limo and opened the door for you to get in. When you got inside, you see them sitting across from you. Shadow and Rouge, was it? 
You looked at them in shock, wondering what they were doing here. You hoped of not meeting them again, faded away as Rear spoke. Sony, look at- Look, I know this is unexpected, and you're probably scared, but this is for your own good. Bruce said, sitting next to Shadow, who was wiping what looked like blood off of his gun. <laughs> oh my god. God, this is such good cop, bad cop vibes I'm getting from these two. Yeah, absolutely. Shadow would not hesitate to shoot me, and meanwhile Bruce is like, calm down there, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, she's like, let's just take a, a deep breath. Yeah. I go up in fear as he had a gun in his possession. No shit. <laughs> Does he never not have a gun? You know what? That's that's true. I guess only yeah. in the Shadow of the Hedgehog game he has a gun. <laughs> yeah. What do you want from me? I didn't say anything. And how do you know my name? How did how did you get my address? <laughs> yeah, that's the more important question here, I feel. I guess that when you work for the government, you have everyone's, like, information. Yeah. But like, how th we didn't tell them our name. They just they did just pull no. up a picture and they're like, "Oh yes, this is uh Sony the Hedgehog." <laughs> yeah, this is uh, <laughs> freak freaky. You owe them des an anger, desperate for an answer. You're being hunted, stupid ass, and and you have no choice to be with us unless you want to die. And we tracked you. Shadow looked at you, annoyed of you already. What do you mean? I said, shaking, even more afraid. I'm being hunted? You th what the fuck? We were just at the mall, having a good time. <laughs> yeah. I like that person in the, in the comments. It was like, sorry, uh, wrong door. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I gotta change the POV, the POV. Okay, so... Blue, and then it's YN, so it's Sony. Alright. All right, I, we now know the favorite car the favorite color of this character. <laughs> it's blue. It's blue. Oh my god, it's Maria. She's come from Maria the Elliot book. Back. Oh my god. Oh my god, why are there so many fucking comments on the side? Do you see this? Yeah, that's uh. Oh my god. Jesus. Holy shit. There's so many. Oh my god. Holy. Okay. Before. What is like happening? These guys are down How bad. How popular is this damn thing? Apparently, it's a lot. <laughs> I guess so. Jesus. Also, I love the book. It's like, you know how on the on the side when you view it on uh on the computer, it has like books that you like, like yeah. you also like, and it shows a bunch of them. One of them is a Deku X, and it shows Deku in Sonic. <laughs> oh my god! I cannot make this shit up if I wanted to. <laughs> Oh. All right, so Maria, <laughs> let's see what happens. Maria. <laughs> hey, the woman we were after is hunting you. Rouge said, "What woman?" You looked at her in suspicion. None of your business, Shadow growled. <laughs> Actually, it is my business. If I'm the one she wants, you hissed at Shadow. Shadow grew mad and reloaded his gun and pointed it to your face. Don't get smart, he glared at you. Give me that. Rue snatched his gun and dropped it in the garbage. <laughs> wow. Girl boss. I feel like in, in this situation, for me, I would have been a smartass, so when he said, don't mm -hmm. get smart, I'm like, uh, two plus two is four, but <laughs> I just can't fucking a nuisance. <laughs> That's how I would die. <laughs> mm hmm By shadow the fucking hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. What a way to go. <laughs> Yep. My Beretta! Rouge! Shadow yelled at Rouge. Oh, shut up. I'm tired of your attitude. Stop scaring our culprit. <laughs> Rouge slapped him upside the head. Brave of her, if you ask me. Shadow scoffed and look at, looked out the window. The woman is an assassin, and G.U.N. has been searching for her for years. Her name is Fiona. Rouge handed you an orange folder. You opened it, and then there was, it was a whole documentary on this Fiona. She wants me why? You looked up at Rouge. Because you know about us. No one knows about G.U.N. That's why she wants you. You have info about us. And she wants to shut G.U.N. down so she and her boyfriend can get away with things without authority. Rouge informed you. Wait, wait a you minute. See? Wait. Yep. We just met these fuckers. Like, yeah, we met them in alley. Like... And they, they told us this information. We did not ask. And then the yeah. next day, it's like, 
be like, all right, someone's hunting you because you know what our faces are and that we work for GUN. So yeah. you're coming with us. Yeah, this is uh, y'all's fault. <laughs> yeah, you put me in this situation, Doc. <laughs> yeah, this is your problem. I, I cannot believe this shit. <laughs> for real. I would be so pissed. Yeah, I mean, honestly, me too. I just went shopping to the mall and then I was like hanging out at my house. Yeah, and that's these it. Fucking strange men come out and they're like, You're coming with us. <laughs> yeah, Shadow thought that we were Fiona. So he put a gun in our face. Yeah. And now we're in this bullshit. Yeah, and now we're being hunted by said Fiona. <laughs> yep. I don't know who Fiona is. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm gonna see if that's actually a Sonic character. Alright. Sonic. Fiona. Yeah, she's a real character. Fiona uh, Fox. She looks uh, pretty cool. Is she like an actual fox? Yeah. Oh, shit! I could, all right. Girl boss. <laughs> yeah, no, real. I'm looking at her right now. Oh, uh, send, send pick? <laughs> uh, okay. Let me, let me get a good one. Uh, this one from the comic is cool. So I'll do that one. Copy image. Oh wait, Can't does it have a else? picture of her boyfriend? Because it says his, her boyfriend's uh, name is Scorch. Scorch the yeah, Hedgehog. I'll see. Oh, Scorch the Hedgehog? Yeah. Yeah. Fiona and... Oh damn, she's a baddie! <laughs> yeah, man. Gosh! <laughs> I don't know what kind of animal Scorch is. Uh, well, I said the Hedgehog. Okay. Yeah, that's what it said in the in the, the book. Yeah, because it yeah, says Scorch the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog's anti. <laughs> yeah, here's here's another comic panel. That's Scorch. No, he's green. <laughs> he's green. You can't you can't get into him. You can't. I don't want to be like that dude from Waifu no, Wars. Yeah. Damn it! Why was it? Why must it be green? <laughs> Yo, I'm I'm deleting it for your for your betterment. You can't look at him anymore. It's still on my screen. <laughs> no, I deleted him. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to help you in this world. <laughs> First Zoro, and now now it's this guy. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Yeah. Scourge the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog's anti. He was wanted villain who escaped the zone prison somehow. Rouge handed you his folder. Man, you guys just got fucking folders of this, these people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I liked how when, we, when I said we opened Fiona's, it was like a whole documentary. I'm just thinking like we opened it and a YouTube video started playing. Yeah, so that's kind of <laughs> what I was thinking. You face... Your face seemed to look scared as you read scores in Fiona's criminal record and history of events like crimes and, and court trials. The thought of them said chills down your spine. Rouge noticed your fear and tried to comfort you. But don't worry. Me and Shadow will protect you. After all, we do these kinds of agent things for people. Rouge smiled. He felt a little bit better and smiled back. So if that's all you needed, then can I go home? You gave Rouge back the folders. I'm afraid. I'm afraid not. It's not safe on your own, so you must stay with us. Rouge frowned. What? With, with Shadow? <laughs> you blushed! Oh. That's, that's really awesome. <laughs> Shadow and Rouge looked at you with surprise. You realized what you said, and your face went red. I'm, I mean, yes, him too, but you also have me. I know it might seem awkward at first, but this is your only safety until we capture Fiona and Scourge, Bruce sighed. Shadow stayed quiet, and you knew he must be thinking about you. Sure, I guess. I, that yeah, made, whatever. That made you blush even more. Bruce then signaled to the men in the front seat to start driving. Wait, don't I have to pack my stuff? You asked. Oh, this, is, this is a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> Nonsense. I'll send some of my men to do that for you, and just hand them your key. Rouge waved over one of the men in a black suit. You then handed the man your apartment key. Now let's go, Rouge smiled. The whole ride, he just thought of the whole situation. How a wanted assassin and an escaped zone prisoner was hunting you. 
Staying with Shadow and Rouge, especially Shadow. Just thinking about him made you nervous. You never lived with a guy before. No, well, he's a Why hedgehog. Do... <laughs> yeah, I've never lived You're... with a hedgehog before. <laughs> You're fine, girl. Yeah. Finally, the limbo pulled over to a stop. When one of the men in black suits opened the door for you, you were surprised to see a mansion in front of your eyes. Oh, shit. Oh, Sheesh. it has an image of the mansion. Man. It had the most... Yep. Isn't the point of laying low not to be elaborate? <laughs> yeah, it is. We have an ocean side view! <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess you what? gotta live lavish sometimes, I mean, you I, know? Yeah, I guess I do work for the military, but like, bro, isn't the point of being like, like, undercover not to be elaborate like this? They never suspect the rich people. <laughs> they never suspect the 1%. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. It had the most beautiful ocean city view in the backyard. Marble floors on the inside. Crystal archway, stairway. Chandelier, a gorgeous kitchen. You're so amazed by the architecture. You would ask how they could afford such a nice home, but remembered that they do work for a top secret agency that probably pays millions. That's what I said. When you got inside, you... Yeah. <clears throat> Felt ashamed to even sit on their couch. You felt like a piece of garbage compared to them. You, Rouge, and Shadow sat down on the white fluffy couch, and Rouge told you everything, everything thing you needed to know about their home. So this is where me and Shadow live. We have about six other bedrooms, so feel free to pick one, whichever one you like. Don't worry about cleaning or cooking around here. We hired butlers and maids to do that for us, and you're welcome to anywhere in the house at any time. Me... Uh, Mi casa su casa. <laughs> I yep. don't think that's what that said, but I tried. Uh, yeah, it, probably the same uh, intention. Gotcha. Rouge is always so happy. Why isn't Shadow? Well, he's a fucking brute. <laughs> just an ass. Yeah. Shadow coughed and glared at Rouge. Well, just don't go in Shadow's room. He doesn't like people going around his stuff. Rouge began sweating. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. He <laughs> he a weak smile. Shadow then walked out of the room down the hall. Make yourself at home. The men should be here with your stuff soon. Rouge left the living room and walked outside to the backyard. You decided to pick a room where there was nothing to do. You walked up the the crystal stairs and up the upstairs hallway. You walked to the first room and opened the door. The room was painted black, painted black walls, gray carpet, black and gray sheets, a picture of a wolf on the wall. <laughs> This is this is this is like if you take one of those alpha males and you make them decorate a room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One of the walls with a huge window. The room was nice, but the style of the room you didn't like. You went down the hall to find more until you find another room. It was yellow and green bed sheets. The walls were yellow and the dresser was green with some perfume and makeup on it. The wide window by the bed you didn't like the colors, so you moved on. <laughs> I mean, well, we're fucking picky, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's like the- f never mind. <laughs> you didn't like the colors, so you moved on. Uh, next room was white with pink sh bed sheets with white walls, and, and one wall was just a window. There was a white desk with a computer and a coffee mug on it, and a pink chair. There was some clothes on the floor, and the closet was open for you to see all the types of heels and expensive outfits and dresses in the closet. This is probably Rooster's room. <laughs> yeah. If it's I had to guess. Yeah. Oh shit, you're telling me the room that actually has stuff in it is someone else's <laughs> room? Damn. You turned around and went to another room. It was white and red bed sheets with red and white walls in a closet with a mirror attached to it. A big window and painted a human girl with blonde hair with blue with a blue dress. <gasps> Maria Sonic? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the only reason why I know the like some lore of Sonic is because I watch uh the Sonic dubs. Oh yeah. yeah. Snapcube? Yeah, Snapcube. <laughs> yeah. You loved the room. It was very clean, and it was like no one has used it. You loved the room so much, so you didn't pick any other one. No shit. <laughs> That's what picking a room's like. Yeah. You plopped out of the bed and took your shoes off and your jacket. You then walked to the painting of the human girl. In the painting, the girl had her hand against the glass, and out the window was space and earth. It was weird. The painting looked so real, real like a picture was taken. You notice the painting was a little crooked, so you try to fix it until... What are you doing? 
Shadow oh. yell with anger, making you jump and drop the pitcher in the glass. Oh shit, we broke it! Oh no. No! <laughs> this Shadow is bad. Shadow ran over and got on his knees to pick up the, the pitcher frame and the pitcher frame with the pitcher in it. He took the pitcher out of the frame and looked at the bag. Some words are written. Maria Rob Wait! Maria Robotnik, 1968. Who is Maria? Oh, I didn't know that was her last name. I also didn't know that. Wow, I found out something new today. Damn. So, I'm gonna have to cut this short, but we read yep. two. But. We read two. We're gonna re we're gonna spin the wheel. I had to go get my passport nope. renewed. <laughs> spin the wheel. Spin it. Alright, I, I added, uh, the only thing I added was a Law X reader, because I've been really into okay. Law right now. <laughs> okay, slay. But, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see! As long as it's not Shadow X reader, we'll, we'll read whatever it lands on. Yeah. No repeats in this call. I, I almost thought it landed on Law oh, X reader. Shit. We're doing oh, it! Shit. This is it's best. happening! The this, big one! Yes! I love this spaceship so much. Yeah. So, Classic. So, what would you think? Um, it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. Well, if you um, like to check out this book, uh, I will have it linked down below, but I'm, like, about to walk out the door. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, my name is Phoenix, this is Coda, we'll see you guys hey. next time. Bye! <laughs> Bye!